Hi everyone, today we're back with a landscaping business. I'm picking up the camera as I just get back into town. I took the Ram 2500 Cummins this morning about two hours away to pick something up for our shop. And here it is guys, I decided to get kind of a small man lift for us that way we could work on the big machines and dump trucks and things like that. So you guys can see it's the JLG brand. I paid about $3,000 here for it. I guess they just don't have a use for it and wanted uh, uh, someone to buy it here. I, I think I got a really good deal you guys can see it's the 830 series but I just got a uh, coffee here from Casey's but let's get back to the shop let's try this thing out and then we actually have a few things we have to do around town like always guys there's a full mods list link down below and if you end up enjoying today's video help me out by hitting the like button one thing I'm working towards here with the business, guys, is to hire my own part-time mechanic because I have been noticing, guys, that I've gotten so many expensive bills for bringing the machines to local uh, dealerships here to get maintenance and things done. So this is the first step we need. I really don't want to be up on a small ladder next to a machine and having this is just going to uh, make us, I, I think it's going to help make us some money and it's going to be more efficient as well here. So let's get this thing unloaded. I can't wait to really drive this thing around and give it a try here at the shop. Alright guys, let's see how this goes. Now this is electric, so we do have to plug it in. I do have to remember that here, but this thing goes, I believe, about 10-15 feet tall. Look at that guys, this is sweet. Now I do know we do have one of the excavators in the shop here, so let's take a look at what it's going to look like. I am really interested. Alright, we got the Komatsu here, so let's see guys, I really want to see if what I was thinking is going to work out here for us. So say we need to work on that hydraulic, there we have it, wow, that is going to save us a lot of time here. This uh, small little uh, lift is really going to help us on out here, and I think that's definitely going to be pretty, pretty neat here. So now I need to look for some part-time mechanics. Uh, I think I'm going to look for maybe a diesel mechanic and a heavy equipment mechanic as well, because uh, there's always things from oil changes to hydraulic hoses and uh, I think that would really help us on out here but let's get on to the next thing as you guys know we have two big dumb trucks here which are the only two trucks that can currently tow this big tax trailer because this one guys it requires the air brakes and those are the only two trucks here so I've been looking around we need a smaller dumb truck the size of the Chevy 4500 but it needs to have air brakes so I came up with a solution here. I found a GMC top kick that is air brakes. It is just a little bit uh, heavy dutier than this Chevy 4500. So what we're going to do guys, we're going to go trade this truck in. I can't wait. I've been looking into this for quite some time and this is going to solve this problem. The Chevy 4500 here has been a really nice dump truck for us. We put so many miles on it. Let's take a look at it. Wow, 42,000 miles. We definitely got our uh, money's worth here for it. But like I mentioned, guys, I think it's just time for us to get something that's going to be a little bit better for us, especially uh, something that can tow that big Tex trailer without having to bring the big 10-ton uh, uh, Peterbilt. All right, we're here at the truck dealership. Now, I already did the paperwork, already kind of looked it over uh, once before when I test drove it, but here it is, guys. Wow, that top kick is, I think, one of the coolest trucks I've seen here in Farm Sim. You guys can see it's the C8500. So this has air brakes here. Now this is a five ton dump truck. So it's much heavier duty here. Stronger suspension, stronger axles, and legally we could haul a lot more weights here on it, which is pretty cool. Now they did throw in some toolboxes and we do have the pinto hitch and the air brakes all ready to go. Wow, this thing looks awesome here. Why don't we check out the first person view? Look at this truck. So this is a 2009 with about 32,000 miles on it. And I thought this was the best uh, truck that I could find. Check out the dump bed. Oh yeah, look at that you guys can see here. This is going to be pretty cool. This truck guys, I think is going to be one of our new workhorses here. Now I do want to buy a snow plow. Put a big plow on the front of this here. But let's take it back to the shop. I can't wait to uh, put it to work. Maybe sometime next week I think we'll have some jobs lined up. 
This truck here, guys, is a private edit. I, I did quite a bit of work to build this dumb truck, and I'm super excited for it here. I really do like having custom mods for all my video series, and this, I think, is probably one of the coolest looking dumb trucks we have had in quite some time here, but why don't we get backed up to that uh, Big Tex trailer? Let's uh, see how that does, because I've been needing to use the uh, trailer with some of the machines, but we just only have two trucks that can tow it, and uh, those are just too big to bring in uh, to some subdivisions in residential areas. And look at that guys, this solves our problem. So we get to tow the uh, 22 foot big tax here with the GMC top kick, which is quite exciting. But we have one more thing we need to get done and we're running a little bit late. As you guys know, we have many skid steers here. These are, I would say, one of the war courses for the business here. You guys can see we have two Kubotas, we have a Cat, we have a Takachi, and two Bobcat skid loaders. Now, one thing, guys, I'm noticing that both these wheeled skid loaders are just sitting in the shop here. We use them mainly during the winter months, but uh, we need another track machine here, so we're going to trade one in. I was thinking about the Bobcat, but that has about 200 hours on it. This one here has about 1,500, so we're going to trade a Kubota in for a deer uh, skid steer, which is super exciting. Haven't owned one before, so let's get the truck trailer. Let's get this loaded up. Let's head on over to John Deere. All right, guys, let's head on over to local deer dealership. Now, like I mentioned, guys, uh, I, I was just trading in the wheeled skid loader with the most hours here. That means we ran this machine quite a lot over the last year, year and a half here. I'm a big fan of Kubota. I definitely might end up buying another track machine, but for now, I, uh, when I see a machine just uh, kind of sitting around here, or multiple of the same type, that means we have to switch it up here because I really want to be as productive as possible, and these machines have to make money, not sit at the shop here and I really really do think that this is going to be a really good decision here for us so let's put this side by side next to the deer. So like I mentioned guys this is my first time buying a deer a skid steer here I decided to go with the 333G and I went with the all purpose tracks here now there is a few different tracks like this but this is more for uh, mud and I really want something that can go over lawns go over turf without tearing it up too much but here it is let me get the keys let me sign the last uh, bit of the paperwork and we'll be taking it back to shop thank you have a good day Guys, I just bought a skid steer and I got my favorite John Deere hat. I get one with every deer purchase, which is pretty neat, but let's climb on in. Let's take a quick look at it before we put it up on the trailer. The dealership did end up throwing in this bucket into the deal here. That's like a $3,000 bucket. I can't believe just how expensive a buckets are nowadays here, but I really am excited to give this thing a try. Now, many of you guys might be asking Square, why do you have so many different brands of skid steers? And basically, I, I want to try them all. And uh, we have dealers for all of them in town, so parts are easy to get for any of them. And that is a big, big thing. But wow, that sure does look good up on the trailer here here and uh, I can't wait to put it to work here hopefully we could get some jobs lined up here for this machine we've been busy running around town all day here it's about 4 30 so I'm gonna finish up a few things uh, here and then I'm gonna go home and do some office work here do some paperwork so until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more